Hello, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Reads, where we make beautiful reads and teach you how to make and sell them. In this video, I want to show you a close-up look on how to make a whimsical Christmas funky bow using all types of ribbon. Let's get started. First, we're going to pick five different ribbons. You can have these all exactly the same print. You can have them um, various different prints. You can have them even different widths. So it's completely up to you how you wanna make your bow. So I've got five, one, two, three, four, five, all coordinating colors, but they're all different. We've got two that are four inch, and then two, three that are two and a half inch. You can also add more. You don't have to keep it at five, but I like my bows to be a little airy. So we're doing five. All right, so we've got, these are all cut 30 inches, and I fold them in half, and then I dovetail the end, putting a really nice um, you know, finish on this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I lay it down on my mat. You can use a ruler, you can eyeball it. It's completely up to you how you wanna do it. I'm gonna measure out about nine inches from here to here, and then I'm gonna pinch. So we're just going to take my two fingers right here, and we're going to pinch this into my two fingers. And when you pinch it into your fingers, it creates this pleat. Right, I'm gonna make sure I'm using one hand, not two. You can do this on a bow maker if you want to as well. So you can see that we've got the, a nice little pleat, all right, and we've got, got it in our two fingers. I'm gonna lay it down on the mat and I'm gonna measure out till 12 inches on our mat. And then I'm gonna take it away from me so that I make this really pretty loop. And what that's gonna do is it's going to create a six inch loop. So I'm gonna also pinch this into my two fingers. I'm not gonna switch hands. You see how we are holding it all in one hand. So now we've got our six inch loop. Twist this, because we want the pretty side facing up. And here is loop number one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull over another four and a half inch, measure out around nine inches. But now I'm gonna do the opposite of this one, okay? So we're gonna pinch it into our my finger to pleat all right measure out the 12 inches on the mat take it away this one's a little tricky to bend take it away from us pleat see i'm pleating in my fingers these two fingers and it's not on the tips it starts to gradually move closer to the palm the more ribbon you add so let me fluff that, measure out. These are exactly the same, okay? And then I put the streamers or the ribbon, the bow tails of the loops go behind the loops. So I'm just repositioning this. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna grab another ribbon. Let's do this one and do the same exact thing. Measure out roughly nine inches, pinch it into my two fingers, lay it on the mat to 12 inches to create a six inch loop and then pinch. And you're gonna see that sometimes your ribbon does this. It does the little fold over. All you have to do is just fold it back. And then we're gonna twist to make sure the pretty side of our loops are or our ribbon is facing upward. All right, so we've got a loop here. So we've got our loops on top and our streamers are more towards the back of the bow. All right, now we're gonna switch colors and do another one. Let's do this one. But do you see how I'm alternating back and forth a loop above my thumb and a loop below my thumb? Measure out 12 inches on the mat and then Create your loop and pinch into your fingers and then twist. All right, so now we've got our fourth loop. We've got two above and two below our thumb, just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna add our next one. Twelve inches. Pinch twist and then just shape your loops don't worry about the streamers right yet 
All right, so this is what it looks like. You can see that we've got all of our loops added and I'm gonna take my florist wire. You can use a pipe cleaner if you want. I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm gonna lift up one of my, my fingers. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the wire underneath and then just rotate it around. All right, and then pull tight. All right, so before I tie everything off, I just make sure that all the ribbon is facing the pretty side up and that our bow is fluffed, loops are moved around where I want them. Okay. And then I turn it over and I pull the bow towards me and the wire away from me. At the same time, I twist the bow. Doesn't matter which way you twist, but you're twisting the bow to make the, the wire tight around the bow loops. And then once you have it, you just lay it down on your mat or your table, or maybe you go ahead and add it to your wreath. And then you can move these little uh, streamers or these little tails around to sort of mix up the colors. All right, so we're just gonna mix these up. And then this, I didn't dovetail this one because it's two-sided, so I thought I would just rotate that and just fold it this way. Trim off that little. So we've got that there. I'm gonna move this one over here because we've got a lot of red on that side. I think the majority of the time the fluff is the, the place where a lot of people get stuck because they just can't, they just don't move things around. They don't, they say it doesn't look right. And I'm like, well, because you just need to move things around and fluff. <clears throat> okay. So this is, um, this is a, just a fun, funky bow for Christmas. Looks really pretty, lots of color, different textures with um, you know the ribbon, as well as the widths and all coordinates. And now I can take this, add it to my wreath, my teardrop, my Christmas tree, um, my garland, wherever I want to decorate for the holidays. If you liked this, make sure to save this video so you can refer back to it. Give us a thumbs up and a like and follow our channel if you'd like more uh, holiday decorating ideas. And also don't forget to just tell me what you're interested in learning. But a lot of you were asking for a close-up bow tutorial and here is one that will be fun to use this holiday season for your own decor.